You know, it's interesting, as I look around behind us, we've got the uh, boxcar races, soap box races. Um, behind me, we've got all the whoopie pie tents where people are taking their samples. Um, we've got the steel drum band just breaking down now, and there's so much more going on today. Um, and we look at the community, and, and we are bustling right now. Um, farmers markets happening, this is happening, there's events happening everywhere, and it's such a great representation of what we're capable of doing in this community at any given time. Um, I love seeing so many people here. There's such a great crowd from all over uh, the Northeast. There are people here from Massachusetts and New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and as far as even Pennsylvania and New Jersey. And um, it's been amazing to welcome them to our little city and show them what we're capable of. And that's a, a nice thing to have. And what makes it even nicer is the community that comes together to put this on. Majority of this is volunteer work. I mean, even what we're looking at with the Soapbox Derby, that's all volunteers working together to raise money for a cause, to have a little bit of fun, and to bring people to our community. So I couldn't be a more grateful uh, mayor, I couldn't be a more grateful person when I can see people come together like this on a beautiful day like today in a city that I love so much and they can come and enjoy. Awarding of some winners in today's Soapbox Derby. 
We want to give, uh, take a moment to thank all of our teams for participating and all of their sponsors for making this event possible, you guys. This is, this is small town in action. We'd love to see it. Every single one of you did a fantastic job today, but only one of you can win in each of the following categories. Most creative, epic fail, fastest, and the judge's choice. We're gonna to start today by awarding the most creative car. This was chosen by voting at our, at our Derby voting tent and also uh, online. Most creative today and every day, probably, goes to Maverick. Look at this piece of art, moving art, that moves me, I'll tell you that. Next, we're going to award the epic fail. Epic fail! Woo! The epic failure of today was really more of a winner than a failure. All of our teams did so well, it was difficult to, uh, to pick the epic fail. But we're going to award it today to a car that came through some, some technical difficulties, and uh, and did a great job with it. The Epic Fail Award goes to the Come Alive Outside car! The cheer for the Come Alive Outside crew! go to our fastest car. Now there's not much you can do about gravity, science, math. This is all determined. The fastest car was, in fact, the fastest. And the fastest car today. <laughs> the fastest car today was fully servicing. <laughs> The judges, the judges award, judges choice. The judges had a difficult time coming up with just who should win the judges choice award. It was really close because all of the teams did such an amazing job. But we settled on Weston Theater Company. Let's hear it for Weston. They came here intending to fail, but instead they won. Great job, Weston. Great job to all of our cars, all of our teams, all of our sponsors, and all of you, our audience this afternoon, for making this Soapbox Derby the first ever a, a hit. Let's hear it for the Mint for putting on this amazing event. Thank you to the whole team at the Mint. And thank you to you all. Come out next year for another Soapbox Derby. <laughs> Hey.
Hey, I'm John McCann. I'm on the board of aldermen here in Rutland City, and we're just wrapping up the Mint's first ever Soapbox Derby. Uh, here on Center Street, we closed it down to race these cars and tie in with the Whoopie Pie Festival, which is going on also today. Uh, we had about six teams racing and a wide range of creative cars, as you might be able to see behind me. Uh, most people got through the track in about 30 seconds, some a little faster, some a little slower. We had a couple technical difficulties along the way, uh, but all in all, I think everybody had fun. We had a great crowd up and down the street, and it really looks like it's going to be an event that we can bring on on year to year and make this a new tradition here in Rutland. I'm Haley Rice from Come Alive Outside, and here we are on the third Green Street at the Whoopie Pie Festival with a ton of wonderful partners and people just enjoying themselves. Right now what's happening is we've got a zoo dance workshop with Miss Lorraine's School of Dance, and they're working with little kids and showing them how to shake their tails and shake their scales and have a great time uh, dancing their zoo dance. So we're here, we love being here on Merchants Row, and we spent a lot of time planning this, so we're so excited that people are here. Um, we're promoting our Spooky Passport, which is available at comealiveoutside.com, and we're asking people to vote for our mystery jack-o'-lantern that's going to be revealed at the uh, Rutland Halloween Parade as well. So I just want to give a special thank you to all of our partners. We've got Outright, we've got Pride, we've got Farm and Wilderness, We've got partners for prevention. We've got a ton of people who made this day possible, as well as Saratoga Saad for giving us the green street proper, and Carpenter and Costin who came and delivered this all at 5 a.m. this morning. So it's a great day, and there's tons of people. I think they were expecting 6,000 people this year, um, which is a bump up from last year. But to me, it looks like around 7,000. <laughs> so thousands of people on this beautiful day in downtown Rutland. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Crispin White, and I am the membership and events manager at the Chamber and Economic Development of the Rutland Region. And we are here this afternoon at our wonderful Whoopie Pie Festival event. This is our third year, and the goal today is for Dreammaker Bakers to create an 1,100 pound Whoopie Pie um, that will break the record of Maine, which was 1,067 pounds. Uh, we had 17 Whoopie Pie vendors here today offering samples for people. We've had entertainment, 
music and just all kinds of fun activities for the families. Um, and everyone is saying that we definitely had a larger crowd than last year and last year's crowd was anticipated as over 5,000 people. So our hope is today we had anywhere from six to 7,000 people enjoying downtown Rutland. We would like to thank everyone who participated in the third annual Whoopie Pie Festival. This has been a most incredible day. We have had thousands of people enjoying samples from 16 different vendors, and it's been a great event where people can come down with their families, a family-friendly event, and enjoy the green street from Come Alive Outside and Car Carpenter and Costins and all the activities, including the Mint Makerspace with its inaugural um, race with the boxcars. Um, if you missed that, you've got to, got to watch Peg TV because they are going to show that over and over and over again. It was exciting. We can't wait to do this. Next year, it'll be the fourth annual Whoopie Pie Festival. I want to thank all of our sponsors from Casella Waste Systems to the hospital, Rutland Regional Medical Center, and many, many more. So thank you all for participating, and don't miss it next year because it's going to be bigger and better than ever. Putting the entire Rutland region on the map. Give Dream Maker Bakers a round of applause. Yeah, I'd say. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to do some awards here. I hope these folks are still here. They may be packing up. If not, we'll make sure we get them everything that they deserve. Ladies and gentlemen, the most creative whoopie pie in the world is goes out to cookies, cupcakes. Are they in the crowd? No. Okay. Yes. Come up here, cookies, cupcakes. And they are the most colorful, I might add. Yes. Outstanding. Come right up here. You gotta get your box. All right, one more shout out for Cookie. Shout out, that means you applaud. Okay, that's good. Ladies and gentlemen, we also have another award. It is best overall. Ladies and gentlemen, it goes out to Cookies Cupcakes. Imagine that, okay. There's that one. We need pictures. Wait, here are the pictures. Okay. Remember, it's my birthday. Okay, smile. Nobody cares that it's my birthday. <laughs> Outstanding. Thank you very much. Well, you might want to wait around. Hold on. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, People's Choice Award. Drum roll, please. We don't have a drum. Okay. People's Choice Award. We had hundreds of people who voted. Hundreds of people. Hope you used a QR code. We also had paper ballots. Ladies and gentlemen, the People's Choice Award, I hope they're here. I hope they're in the audience. I hope they'll come up on stage so they can get a picture up here on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, Sweet Birch Coffee Roasters and Bakery are the winners of the People's Choice Award. We don't know where they are. Okay. Megan, who makes the biggest whoopie pie in the world, is running to get her counterparts. That's sweet for his copy. Again, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors. We'd like to thank everyone who contributed to this event. Significantly to this event was Casella Weed Systems. We're going to pull our tractor up a little bit closer. We're ready to have the tractor come up because we are going to do what you came here to see. Is this the largest whoopie pie in the world? People have said, how do you know? And we said, because we said so. We're asking people to self-report. If you can self-report that you made a bigger whoopie pie than the one that was created by Dream Maker Bakers, you just tell us. We won't believe it. But you just tell us. Please note that the whoopie pie is not precariously on that piece of wood, but there's 112 pounds of wood so that one that is going to be holding up that whoopie pie. So when we weigh it, and it is well above 1,000 pounds, please note that we have to deduct 112 pounds. The 
if we had a drum, we would be rolling now. Do we have? We do have the People's Choice Award, ladies and gentlemen, Sweet Birds Coffee coming up on stage right now. Give her a nice round of applause. Sweet Birds Coffee, Roosters and Bakeries. Congratulations. People's Choice Award. We are looking to break the record from that main place of 1,067 pounds, and it's going to happen today. We did do some calling out of that main bakery. We actually sent Facebook posts up to Maine and suggested that they might want to come down today to see their loss. Hopefully I'm not getting out in front of our victory. Note the Dream Maker Baker team carefully negotiating the scale. And I will say, note the precision with which the bucket loader operator and assistant will manage this operation. If you haven't watched construction workers working, you are missing out on something pretty special. The talent that it takes to do what they do is pretty amazing. As is the talent to make a huge whoopee pie. In our first year, we made a well, we didn't. Dream Maker Bakers made a whoopie pie. How, how big was the first year? 547. 547 pounds. They increased that to well over 600, or 700 pounds, 770. They are now looking to crush a bakery the unknown named bakery in Maine. Who we appreciate them letting us shout out once in a while. And you might be asking yourselves, what will we do next year? We have 364 days to determine that. You guys can make your straps nice and tight and pull back one here. Standing next to me is Kristen White. Kristen is our manager for events and membership. He has a standard calculator in his hand. He will deduct. He will deduct 112 pounds from the scale weight. We were frightened last year because the weight was actually in metric units. We thought we had lost. If you are looking for wonderful treats, if you're looking for cakes, if you're looking for all sorts of great food, go to Dream Maker Bakers in Killington, Vermont. Precision, the team is taking care of Everybody let go. Everybody. One, two, nine, nine. 1,299 pounds, less 100. Wait, how much? 1,187 pounds. We have the rest. Let's the record. Ladies and gentlemen, Dream Baker Baker.
Megan Wagner from Dreammaker Bakers and we just broke a world record with a 1,187 pound whoopie pie. I have to give credit to my head baker, Katherine Kearns, my head decorator, Sam Corey, the rest of the Dreammaker Baker team, my husband from JW Plumbing, his workers and his entire crew of friends. Uh, this, uh, this event wouldn't be possible without them. I have to thank the Rutland Chamber. Crispin and Lyle came to me with this idea three years ago, and I don't think any of us knew that three years later we'd be setting the record.